In today's video, I decided to build a giant Monopoly board in Bloxburg. Hey Glossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. Now today is a build that I actually started last year, but then I kind of decided not to do it until I was playing Monopoly with my family a few weeks ago and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rebuild it. That's right, today I'm gonna be building a giant Monopoly board in Bloxburg and it's gonna be like Bloxburg and glossy theme too. So this is gonna be so cool and I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. So before we get onto the build plans, you may be noticing something a little different about my avatar. Hint, hint this gorgeous thing over here. That's right, I have my very own UGC item. This beautiful thing is called a Glossy's Pink Crown of Glossasticness. You can actually buy this, you can match with me if you want, and it is available in my group, but this was made by my friend I, I Starry. You should check out his items because he's an amazing UGC creator. And yeah, I now have my very own merch, so there'll be a link in the description for you to buy it in my Roblox group, but it is just so gorgeous and it matches my outfit so well. But anyways, I am going to show you the bold plans and then we're going to get straight into it. If you don't know what Monopoly is by the way i will try and explain it in a few seconds so don't worry let's go and check out the blueprints or pink prints i guess so today, of course, we are building a Monopoly board and the inspo for this is, of course, the board game Monopoly. What Monopoly is, is it's basically a board with a bunch of kind of different streets on the squares, like street names, and you can like buy them and you can buy properties on them. And when people land on your streets, like your houses, they have to pay you money and things like that. It's basically like whoever gets the most houses and money wins. And eventually you may have like no money left and go bankrupt. It's basically kind of like a money game, if that makes sense. It's really fun and it's kind of hard to explain, but it's really good. If you want a more in-depth explanation then of course google it but we're basically going to build a giant version of this but change the things on it to fit the theme of Bloxburg and Glossy. I think I'm going to call it Glossopoly instead of Monopoly too. Anyways the floor plan looks like this. I've drawn out the shape of everything with a fence on a Bloxburg plot so this is our board shape and it's pretty big but that is pretty much it. It's just this giant board. Obviously it's not really a building so there's not a big floor plan so let's just start building. As you can see, we have the board here. But before we get into build mode, I just want to talk about the street names because obviously, of course, some of the squares have street names on them. I didn't want to just copy them off the board. We obviously have to make the names like Bloxburg themed. So I sat and basically came up with a bunch of Bloxburg related street names and some glossy kind of themed ones. And what I'm going to do now is talk you through them before we start building. So I'm basically going to show you how the board is going to be laid out once we kind of add all the text and stuff. Here we go. I added it onto this big sketch pad thing. And as you can see, I literally just wrote the words on. So we're gonna go around the board and I'm gonna show you each kind of thing. Let me zoom in here. Oh, also, before I forget to mention, we are gonna discuss being able to actually play this, but we're gonna talk about that later. Anyways, so of course, the first square that players start on is Go, and then we have Riverside Road, which is, of course, named after the Riverside Estate side in Bloxburg. I did actually use a lot of the kind of street signs in Bloxburg, so in Bloxburg, I'll put them on screen now, we do actually have, like, street names, so I've used a bunch of those in this as well. Anyways, we have Bloxy Acres, which is obviously the other side of the estate we have pizza bread station now this one this one, this one, and this one, these are all train stations. And the reason this says Peter Bread is because I decided to name some of these squares after YouTubers. So what I did was I tweeted and asked you guys, you know, what YouTubers do you like? And I just kind of picked a random few. So you will see some names you recognize. So there is Peter Bread station. And I think it would be cool to kind of have these squares like themed around the YouTuber. Anyways, we have Bloxburg Boulevard, we have Telemon Terrace, and we have Dominus Highway. Now these three are all signs from the game itself. So I just taken these from the actual Bloxburg map. Then we have the jail square because there is jail in Monopoly. And then we have Glossette Gardens, Lip Gloss Lane, and Glossy Grove. So these are the pink squares. These are my little street names. And in the middle, we have French Roses Electrical Company because this is another YouTuber named one. And then we have Feeberry Station, which is of course named after Feeberry. We have BFF Supermarket Street. We have Blocks Burger Bend. And we have Pizza Planet Plaza, which is a kind of a tongue twister. And then there's the free parking square. We then have RB Battles Bridge, Sabrina's Snack Square, and the Elephant Estate. You've probably noticed these are all kind of in like sections of themes and that's because all of them are color coded on the actual thing you have like sets of three or two which all have the same color so all of those ones i've kind of made similar so these three are all named after Bloxburg events we have the rb battles event this is the halloween quest event and of course that's the elephant and then we have ashley station which is ashley the unicorn and then these three are named after the kind of developers and stuff behind the game so we have coffee stain corner animators avenue and developers drive and then we have robles waterworks in there as well then we 
have the go to jail square and these are named after the community managers and the blocks burglar so we have lil marie meadow brant bay and blocks burglar bank i thought it was kind of funny to name it a bank because you know he's he's a burglar then we have the panda girl station our final station and the last two which are the most expensive streets on the board is cope Court and froggy hops falls and that is our monopoly board it's gonna say glossopoly in the middle as well oh, i'm kind of out of breath there i've just done a lot of talking also if you can hear like a squeaking noise in the background it's my gaming chair i've just noticed my shoulder's been like squeaking against the back of it i don't know if you could hear that the whole time but if you could i'm so sorry but we're gonna hop into build mode here because it's time to actually decorate this for the color squares i think what we're gonna do because obviously all of them have like colors at the top i think we're literally just gonna draw it on with a floor like okay i'm gonna have to delete the board but for the colors i think we should just do this so it's gonna be really quick and we can just color the tops as of course we need to give each little section its own color i don't know whether to stick to the board colors or to like maybe make them all different shades of pink because it's glossopoly of course but i don't know if that would be too much but yeah like i briefly mentioned with the kind of theme station thing i do want to kind of make decorations on some of these squares that look 3d which i think would be really cool so kind of like the jail we're gonna actually make like a 3d jail cell and stuff like that and i do want to try and make this playable i did have a plan i did want to make a video after this where i play it with youtubers but the thing is it's going to be really difficult one i'd have to figure out how to record their voices or get them to record it for me because my macbook doesn't record output and two i would have to try and work out how to make this playable i did think that we could use our avatars as the game pieces so we can move like the pieces but we'd have to get like a website to roll the dice for us i'd have to work out how you could use the cards i did have a few plans i have been brainstorming how i could make it functional but it would take a lot of planning but if that's something you you'd be interested in seeing let me know i would have to ask another youtuber to like record everyone else's voices for me in a voice call because i can't do that but it would be a lot of fun it would just take a lot of planning which i'll happily do if you guys want to see that okay we're nearly done with all the little squares okay there we go so these are all the color squares so all of these ones are the ones that have like street names and that you can buy except like the train stations and the waterworks obviously now what i'm gonna do is add the floor back kind of around it so we can actually have like a board and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna color each color Color. I think I will keep it to like the actual squares color that it usually has instead of making a bunch of shades of pink just so it's a bit more colorful and you can kind of see the difference between each color more. I feel like it would get very confusing especially if we tried to like actually play it. We'd have to like remember what shade of pink is ours. Let me color all of these. So this is like a dark blue. These ones are brown. I'm gonna see how well I've got the Monopoly board memorized. This is like a light blue. These ones are pink of course so I'm gonna do these a nice shade of pink. These ones are orange are these orange hang on i'm getting a photo up on my phone oh my gosh they are orange oh, then we have red um yellow okay yeah they are it's yellow and then the last one is green here we go so we have oh that was a fence all of the colors done i think for the words i'm just gonna add decals for them because i feel like trying to write it out would be so difficult what should we build next oh you know what i want to do next i want to do the train station ones so for the train station squares i want to get creative with it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a mini kind of train track with a train on it and each little train is gonna have like a personalized thing on it to kind of represent whatever youtuber we've named it after for example who's this one peter bread was this peter bread yeah it was we could put like a little piece of bread on the train i don't know for fee berries we could put like a strawberry on it for who else have we got um for the panda girls we could have like a panda like panda ears and then for ashley the unicorns i guess we could have a unicorn horse we could even do it for the other two french roses and row builds we could have the electrical company could be a light bulb with a rose on it and then row builds oh what could we do for row builds because her name isn't really themed i have no idea she has like angel wings on her avatar so maybe we could do that anyways do you like my little train tracks so far we're gonna do little wooden train tracks i wonder if you can resize the train toy because if we can that'd be so useful because it means i don't have to make my own train let me check i bet we can't that would be a really random thing to be able to to resize oh no you can't this is way too small i'm gonna have to make a custom train guys look at this i made a tiny little train out of like basic shapes okay it's not that tiny it's kind of big but anyways i made a little train for 
for the track and I did make it all black because on the board the train is just like a solid black color so I tried to keep it the same but what we're gonna do now is quickly copy and paste them and add them to like every single train square so there's one on each side as well so I'm just gonna add one in each there's 6k this is so expensive oh my gosh and there we go okay that one needs to move a bit here we go so we have our four trains around the board and what we're gonna do now is make them kind of customized now I don't know what to do for pita bread like I said a slice of bread but how do I do that like what am I gonna how am I gonna put a slice of bread on here I have no idea what to do we're gonna start off with what feels like the easiest one which is the panda girls or panda ears is this the panda girls train I need to check my grid yeah it is okay I've got it right so this one's easy because this is panda ears I know how to make panda ears we're gonna make some little cute ones and just stick them on the side of the train here so how big should we make them maybe like this big and then what i'm gonna do is add like a middle bit wait what color are panda ears like what what arrangement is it which way do the colors go oh so they're just black i thought they had okay we're gonna do these ones these are all roblox panda ears okay this kind of looks like fur oh my gosh wait that's so cute so yeah we're just gonna add these on the side of the train there we go that's our little panda train okay that's so cute and then next we're gonna do ashley the unicorns because we're gonna do a unicorn unicorn horn and we have this beautiful cone shape which looks absolutely perfect for a unicorn horn but we're gonna put this here and we're gonna make this pink okay i feel like we do need to add like ears or something i'm gonna add like tiny little ears on it as well there we go oh my gosh wait that's so cute too and then for fee berries i want to add some berries but once again i have no idea how we could do like a strawberry bush <laughs> we could just put a strawberry bush on the train and no i don't want to cheat we could make the top of it look like it's the top of a strawberry you know if we had like the green stuff like this so the whole thing looks like a berry does that make sense let me try and like do it and show you like so these could be like the leaves so it's like the top of a strawberry does that does that make sense I mean, I'm doing a terrible job. Oh my gosh, wait, I've just came up with a really good idea. Hang on, let me get rid of this mess. I'm furiously clicking the back button. Okay, anyways, so we have that like leaf tray, don't we? Like I could just use that like this. Oh my gosh, why haven't I used this before? Are you kidding me? I mean, it's kind of glitching, so I'm gonna have to put them on a basic shape and transform them, but this is genius. Let me make them green. Look, how cute is that? We just need a stem down the middle, which we can make with one of these like this. Oh my gosh, wait, that is so cute. Stop it. Look at the little berry train we could go all out and make it red but that's the thing i don't know because then i'd have to do like every train would have to be kind of different colors okay wait should we do that like this one can be white for the unicorn like completely and we could have some pink in some areas to kind of match it all together so that can be the unicorn train and then for the japanda girl one we could just have it kind of different bits of black and white like this so it looks like a kind of spotty panda but yeah i'm just gonna fully personalize all the trains okay Okay, this looks a lot better why didn't i do this in the first place and then the berry one we are gonna add a nice red i kind of want to add like a texture to add like patches you know when they have like seeds okay i kind of don't like the texture i don't know how to make this look like a strawberry okay wait the snow texture is kind of cute and then we have pizza bread yeah i'm getting that right pita bread's train and we're gonna make this look like a loaf of bread like it's made out of bread so i've used like the concrete as the bread texture and then i'm adding kind of darker areas for like the crust of the bread which i think looks kind of cool and maybe on the top just because every other train has like something on the top we could add like a kind of cube to look like butter so it looks like the bread has a topping okay let me get a cube um we'll get like this soft one and make like a little bit of butter wait this looks so cute oh my gosh stop this is adorable so there's our four trains done i feel like that took longer than i was expecting i kind of really want to do the jail cell so how monopoly has it set is this bit is like the actual jail and then there's a strip around the outside that says just visiting so this whole square isn't a jail so just this little bit is but we are gonna make a little jail cell that you can actually kind of go into let me get some walls we can use the actual kind of jail windows and stuff like that here we have the door i'm gonna put the door on this side and then i'm just gonna add our little jail windows around the outside here we go we just need a roof oh my gosh should we add like a chair in the middle of it oh that's a pool that's not a roof we're gonna add a chandelier in the middle as well it's kind of dark in there you know we're gonna make it a luxury jail there's our little prison oh my gosh that's so good also i was kind of debating whether we make the lines black 
black because I feel like it would make the board stand out a lot more. And on the actual board, obviously the lines are kind of this thick black kind of cartoonish thing. Anyways, what is next? I'm leaving the text down the middle until the end. I can't get over how cute the panda train is. Like this is my favorite one. The little ears are so cute. I know what I wanna do. I wanna make the electrical company in the waterworks. So the electrical one is over here. And my idea was a light bulb with some roses on it because obviously this is like the French roses one. So I wanna make the bottom of the light bulb and I'm gonna try and make the top of it clear because do we have a clear sphere? That's kind of a tongue twister as well. Oh my gosh, we do, we have transparent ones. We're gonna make the light bulb out of this so it's actually see-through like a real light bulb. Okay, it's kind of a weird shape. This looks kind of strange. I'm gonna make the bottom bit look like you can kind of screw it on. This is one of the strangest builds I've ever done to be honest. There we go, that is kind of like a light bulb shape. Oh, we need like the wire inside. Let me just give this a color. There we go, that is our light bulb. Now we have to figure out how to put roses on this because it's for French roses. Unless we put like a beret on it for the French part of her name. I don't know how to do this. How do we get roses? Do we even have like just a bouquet of roses? Is that a thing? Because we have rose bushes. I feel like we don't just have a plain bouquet of roses. I feel like we only have the mixed one. You know, the, the Valentine's one. Take, oh my gosh, wait, we can? Oh, <gasps> you're kidding me. I didn't realize we had a rose bouquet. Okay, I feel silly now. Let me just get a few more of these. All right, now we can use the roses. Oh, stop. <gasps> these are so cute. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. They have to be pink, obviously, but let me just try this. Hang on. So if I get this and then put these like here, we could have like roses just kind of randomly stuck in the light bulb. If that makes sense, I don't know if this looks good. In my defense, how am I meant to make a French roses themed light bulb? See, it's kind of cute. Just having them kind of like stuck everywhere. So it's actually the next day when I'm filming this and I have done a bit more work off camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I'm up to and then I think I'm gonna go and do all the decals. So let me just show you first, we'll talk afterwards. But number one, we have the community chest little boxes. So these are for the community chess square, which is like these cards that you can pick up in the middle. So if you land on this square, then you have to pick up a card. And we also have the question marks for the chance cards as well. I think they look super cute though. And then I think where we left off when I was recording was doing the French roses light bulb. And I did actually go and do the Robuilds Water Works Company. So on the actual board, it is a tap and I actually made the tap gray so we could have these fairy wings. Now it was so difficult to make like angel wings or whatever the ones on her avatar are really complicated so I just tried to make these cute little ones out of heart pillows and I think they look adorable I'm gonna use this hack more often but yeah it's just like a tap with some water running out and then it's got these fairy wings as you can see the chance cards in the community chest are all kind of around the board and then the last thing I did was the free parking space and I just added a little car park with a little pink car which I think looks super cute but that is where I'm up to and like I said what I think I'm gonna do quickly hang on let me get into build mode what I think I'm gonna do is go off camera again and add all the decals and what I mean by this is all the street names and kind of the words that are going to be on here because all we have left to do is to do that and then do the big glossopoly writing in the middle also add the cards like the rest of it's kind of a few little decorations but I really want to just have all the decals done so I can see what it looks like with those but yeah I'm just going to very quickly make all of those and add them onto the board and I will see you guys after that where we can finish off the build so for the text of course I had to put the decals on a decal so what I did was I grabbed a trans transparent cube and then I put a transparent decal on top of the cube and just kind of rotated that so it was like flat on the ground and once I tested it and kind of knew it all worked I then did it on every single square so I went around and placed down like all the decals on all the different squares which took a very long time and I kind of flipped them all so they were facing flat on the ground and then I went in and added all the decals. The decals by the way took over like an hour to make so this was a very long kind of process to do but in the end it looked really good and yeah I just kind of stuck all the decals onto the board. So the text Next is all done. Look at all of this. Oh my gosh. It looks so cute. I love it. And the black outline looks really cute. We also have a new addition to my outfit. I, I have dressed as a Monopoly man. I've got the mustache in the top hat and oh my gosh. Okay, it's kind of cute though. Like it's kind of cool. I think I look pretty snazzy. Anyways, yeah, I finished all the text and we actually have kind of just the middle area left to do. Everything else is kind of finished. So I actually do have a checklist of the things we need to do to finish this off because we're so close. So the 
only things we need to do now are the chants and the community chess cards, the glossopoly text, of course. I want to make a pair of giant dice just because I thought it would look cool, and the arrows on the go square thing. So we're gonna hop into build mode and try and see how long it's gonna take us to finish everything off. So the first thing I want to do is the go arrows because I mean they're arrows they're like the easiest thing so we're just gonna make these out of structural pieces oh I deleted it uh oh oh yeah I added green grass because I feel like the board was kind of blending into the snow but it looks so bright because of the texture there we go we have the arrows all done so we can tick that off our list and next we are gonna do the cards so as you can see there is these two kind of rectangles on the board and these are where you'd put the cards so I basically want to make it look like there is these cards stacked up and I do have have two decals to go on them so I have a decal for the community chest and a decal for the question mark that goes on the chance card so we're gonna pop those on but what I'm gonna do try and make the big shape of the card so this one can be the chance card okay let me grab a decal because I have a spare one over here I'm just gonna copy this and then what we're gonna do is put the decal here let me just rotate it like this and then we can go over and put our decal on it and see how it looks i might add a black outline around the card as well because i don't know i feel like i need it especially because this image has the black outline oh my gosh it looks so small hang on we need to resize that decal but yeah it's basically just a little question mark it's actually the photo of one of these that i just colored white is that as big as i can make it okay that's like the biggest it goes and i am gonna add a black outline around the outside just so it kind of goes with the board a bit more here we go and then what we can do is copy and paste these oh my gosh this is like difficult to do just copy and paste a few of these so it looks like they're all kind of stacked up there we go so that is our messy stack of cards and then i'm gonna copy this again and paste it here so these can be the community chess ones i can't get over how cute my little monopoly man outfit is like look at this look at my mustache anyways let me edit this how does this one look because this one's probably bigger there we go okay that's kind of cute oh there we go and then we're gonna do the same we're just gonna stack them up and there we go so those are our cards we can take that off the list and next we are gonna do the dice we're gonna do the name across here at the very end because i'm actually gonna time lapse myself doing it because it is gonna take a while for me to manage to make cute like letters on this so i think that might drive me insane so i'm gonna leave that to the end we're gonna make a pair of dice now how big should we have these maybe a bit smaller than this okay that's a good size so we're gonna do that and then what i'm gonna do is of course add the spots on it this is so much fun i kind of want to make more board games after this so if you enjoyed this let me know and then maybe i could make like snakes and ladders or ludo or i don't know any more board games off the top of my head but i feel like this is a really fun thing to build but yeah i'm just adding the spots on this side is gonna be a five we're making it a pink dice oh my gosh this looks so cool look at it how cool is this okay i need to do the other numbers and there we go we have our dice so i'm gonna copy and paste this and i'm gonna should we add another one next to it or should we put one over here instead like should we kind of have them in different areas okay yeah i'm gonna put one over here but i'm gonna rotate it like this here we go we have our dice and that is the third thing crossed off the list all we need to do now is obviously add the text down the middle so of course it's gonna say glossopoly that's like the only thing left now obviously in real monopoly you have a little game characters and you also have the other cards of each kind of property but I'm not going to be making those because you don't place them on the actual board and because when I make this functional I'm not actually going to have the cards in game I don't want to spoil it I'm going to tell you in part two when I play this with people how the gameplay is going to work but I'm not building any little characters or cards so the last thing we need to do is just glossopoly let me get rid of this decal as well oh my gosh the text looks so good I can't anyways yeah what I'm going to do now is attempt to write glossopoly across this thing oh my gosh the cards look so good though we're gonna do that now and then i will see you guys for the final tour aka us walking around the board
guys it's done oh my gosh i'm so obsessed with this thing okay oh my gosh look at this thing oh my gosh okay so the text was pretty difficult to do actually but as you can see that's all done and we are gonna take a look at the giant glossopoly board um i'll start in the middle and then we can walk around the whole outside and kind of look at all the squares but we have glossopoly written here i did add some lip gloss dripping down off the gloss letters to match my kind of name brand logo thingy we have a little picture of me in my monopoly suit it is a bit too small but this is like the biggest i can size the decals which is kind of annoying but she still looks super cute we have the dice we have the cards oh my gosh i'm so obsessed with this thing this is the coolest thing ever i mean we're starting the year off with like the most random build possible anyways let's go around the actual board itself so we start off on the go square then we have riverside road the first community chest we have bloxy acres we have the tax we have Peter Bread Station. I'm obsessed with the trains. I'm obsessed with everything, okay? This was such a fun build to do. How cute is the little bread train though? Bloxburg Boulevard. We have the first chance question mark card. We have Telemont Terrace, Dominus Highway, and then we have the jail. Now we're gonna go sit in the jail cell. I tweeted a photo of me in here actually, but this is the little jail cell. If you accidentally land on go to jail, we'll close that back up. But we are just visiting. We're going around the just visiting section. Anyways, we have Glossette Gardens, French Roses, electrical company this is the most random thing like these squares alone are so funny lip gloss lane glossy grove we have feeberry station little strawberry train bff supermarket street another community chest we have blocks burger i keep getting blocks burger and blocks burglar confused because they're such similar words anyways blocks burger bend pizza planet plaza the little car parking free parking bit which doesn't really do anything rb battles bridge sabrina square another chance card elephant estate we have ashley station the little unicorn train coffee stain corner we have robles waterworks i just love the wings so much like this is so adorable and then animators avenue developers drive go to jail so if you land on this obviously you gotta walk all the way over there we have lil marie meadow brant bay community chest again blocksburger la bank which is a bit ironic isn't it the panda girl station the little cute little panda chain chance card again froggy hops falls another tax and cope is caught and that is the entire board i am so proud of this build like it's really nice to see me actually finish it this time because i started it last year obviously and deleted it but it just looks so much better than i was imagining it feels so fun and colorful and i'm so proud of it but that is pretty much it that is my monopoly board i'm just really excited to make this functional and actually play it with people i will try and play it with some other youtubers but if that doesn't work i'll probably play it with my staff team so no matter what you will get a part due to this video and oh my gosh it's so oh my god i'm so proud of this but let me know what you think down below or let me know if you want me to recreate more board games with a little Bloxburg twist because I feel like this was such a fun build to do and I am just so excited to post this video this is going up tonight but yeah that is my beautiful little gloss gloss gl glossopoly board I keep I keep messing up that word so bad but yeah that is it for today's video super exciting one I'm so proud I had such a fun time doing this this was genuinely by far one of my favorite builds ever and I'm so excited to see what you guys think of this I did kind of post a few spoilers on discord and on twitter but yeah i will see you guys later i hope you all have an amazing day and as usual i want to say a huge thank you to all my channel members who will be on screen now thank you guys so much for becoming a member and i love you all so much i will see you guys next time i love you all so much glossettes xoxo glossy girl